Hello and good evening. Here we are again. The question today is from Kirsty, and she wrote me, she said, Hi Eva, my traumatologist told me I am suffering from runner's knee and I should undergo surgery and get a kneecap replacement. But I am scared. Can your red light help me? So this is something that comes really close to me. Now, for those who don't know this, uh, runner's knee is another word for chondromalacia patellar. And that is when the cartilage under the surface of the kneecap is deteriorating. You have several uh, grades in that. And I know this personally because I have it. Okay, I've, been, I've had it since um we are 2019 so it will be 13 years more or less and i have grade three in one knee and grade four in the other knee and they have been wanting to put a, a kneecap replacement or a prothesis or prothesis depending on the accent where you want to put it since for the last 10 years so i do i do know about this uh personally I have never done the knee cap replacements. I have no prothesis. I can deal with my problem by using photonic therapy. So on the one hand, um, as I have this myself, I have two runner's knees. In one knee, it's grade three. The other knee is grade four. What do I do? I use photonic therapy or advanced photonic therapy, my red light to stimulate specific points for my knees, to um, relieve the pain, to um, reduce the inflammation, and so on. I have had some operations in the past. Uh, uh, one of them was because uh, I had a total rupture of, uh, what was it again? Oh my God, this was so long ago. I think it was my ACL, but I'm talking now about I don't know, uh, 2006 or seven. I'm talking about a long time ago, so I don't even know, remember well. Um, cross ligaments, that was the operation. So, and at that same time, they have um, made my, my, uh, my patella, my kneecap less rigid, let's say this way. Because, you know, your kneecap normally, it's as soft as an eggshell. When you are suffering from runner's knee, anyways, in the degree that I had it, grade three and four, okay, it becomes like sanding paper, all with all little holes and bumps. It's not soft anymore like an eggshell. It's like sanding paper. So every time you would um, take a step, it would do, okay, and that one is pretty painful, and well, you can even hear, hear it, but anyways, uh, I never, I never listened to it. So that's what they told me. But th that doesn't matter. They did um, make it soft again, or uh, soft like an eggshell again. But as the disease progresses, you get the same problem and again and again. Another solution what they can do is uh, give a, a boto botox injection. Okay, in between the knee and the kneecap, they will uh, put some botox in between. That will serve for six to nine months. I've had the, uh, I have had those two in the past. And then that kneecap is not going to be so close to the knee and not make that, that noise or hurt so much. But no, I've needed those uh, replacements for 10 years now, and I've never done it. And I'm walking, and I'm not running like I used to run when I was 18 years old, but I can go quicker and quicker and quicker again. I'm not walking with any sticks anymore for years now. And sometimes I can have a bad mo uh, a bad day because I hurt myself, I fell or I did too much. And then, I, and then it's possible that I, I hurt myself and that I will have a walking stick. But it has been, I think now two or three years that I haven't uh, even had a walking stick uh, anymore. But so, yes, um, now for Kirsty, I don't know in which grade your uh, kneecaps are. So uh, you haven't sent me that information, so I don't know. 
But can the red light help you? Absolutely. But the red light in itself is not enough. Okay? Red light therapy is only going to take the pain away. That's not enough for you to get a livable life with runner's knees. What you need to do is use the points from the booklets from Dr. Brian McLaren in the People Info Pack, in this case about the knee. Okay, so it's going to also to reinforce, uh, it's going to take the pain away, it's going to take the inflammation away, and so on, and so on, and so on. So it's going to do a lot more than just red light therapy. That's important uh, for you to know, because often people just don't understand the difference between red light therapy and advanced photonic therapy or photonic therapy, the McLaren method, where we are stimulating specific acupuncture points to get a specific result, which goes a lot further than just relieving pain. Okay? So that will be it for today. I do have a little surprise coming. Something you have been asking me for, some of you have ask, been asking me that for years, and I finally finished it today. So I'm quite excited and I would like to spill the beans right now, but I must not do so. So you will have to be just a little bit more patient, but maybe tomorrow or Friday or Saturday, I will spill the beans. Bye for now. Good night.